Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today I am going to talk to you about what to do when you can't get on the pool table. Now, some of you, particularly my students, know that I've been staying at a different house and I haven't been able to get on my table because even though we have more room at the other house, there's no pool table there. So I have been away from my table a lot. I'm talking like six, seven weeks. So some of those recent videos you saw, they were shot months ago. I just finally published them. But this is what you do when you've been away from the table and you finally get back and you get an opportunity to practice. Shoot racks, any order, not eight ball, not highs and lows. You're not playing with your friends. You don't get into your drills yet. Just break up the balls. Allow yourself to get in the stroke. You're playing position, but you're not trying to run them off in sequence or segregated racks, anything like that. So I'm going to talk my way through this rack while I run it off for you guys. And just so that you see what I'm thinking about here. Now, I do break with my standard eight ball break. Just allows me to get a break in until I have a chance to practice just breaks. But I'm not worried about making a ball on the break. It's actually better if you don't because you get in that many more reps, one more or two more reps. So I'm just playing the seven ball with a little bit of follow. I'd like to get on the four because the four blocks the three and the three is in good position for that same pocket. <clears throat> now, I got a little short on this shot, but I think I could roll it in if I wanted to. I still don't like it. It's not good enough to risk everything on. So I'm going to shoot a little draw shot on this nine, get back out to the middle of the table, which will give me a ton of options. Look at all these options I have being here in the middle. If you're not sure exactly where you want to get, this is not a bad place, guys. So I really am trying to find ways to get on that four. I know it looks simple. I am going to go up and back off that back rail I'm going to have a very small zone where I can get to the four, but you know what? I have an insurance shot here, okay? This is the um, state farm of shots. So I'm trying to get on the four, but I have options if I don't. Oh, really need perfect speed on that shot, all right? Even my insurance shot is not clear, but I have this three in the side. From these angles, how can you tell if the ball will go in the side pocket? I taught my students a technique. I'll tell you about it in a video one day, but there's a way to tell if you should actually take that shot or not. So a little bit of left-hand spin here. And you see guys, I'm shooting any ball but I'm always playing position. I could call out my next three or four shots, but with this many balls on the table, I'm probably gonna play audibles along the way. One thing I do wanna do is play this 12-1 combination. So I'm gonna get myself in a general area where I can do that or play that two ball and get on that 11. So here's my combo. This is going to bring me out uh, most likely for the two, but I should have other options should I choose to take them. So we'll play the 11, put us on the two. The only shot with issue right now is that 15. Uh, I know it looks simple as laying on the rail, but it's the only one that I'd really like to be uh, relatively straight in on. So I'm going to take a couple of shots that are going to lead to me having position on that shot. Oh, my chalk got away from me. So I'm going to spin this out a little bit. I don't think I can get on the 15 here, but if I get on the 14 or the 12, then I'm good. So the 12, I overshot a little bit for the 12. So we're going to call an audible here and play the six, which will put us on the 12, which will put us on the 15.
again, shooting these balls gives you the workout in that you get to work on your stroke, just coming off the rail a little bit. You get to work on your stroke, work on your concentration. Now talking your way through the rack is probably the hardest, <laughs> the hardest way to concentrate, but um, it's not easy to talk your way through the rack, by the way. Uh, talking and shooting <laughs> just don't work. But I'm gonna play this with high right, uh, come around and see if I can get on that eight. Worst case, I overshoot it, been away from the table. I'm still gonna be on the 14. And again, we got State Farm over there. So there it is. I like it. How many of you would have shot that five ball? That five ball is not going anywhere. You don't need the pocket. Don't waste it. It's an assurance shot. I don't believe in blocking pockets if I'm playing eight ball or whatever, because good players, the guys I play don't care, but um, it's a good insurance shot if you don't have a shot. So, and it's a wrap. So that's, uh, that's how we do a break and run, guys and do those if you've been away from the table a while. If you only have a few minutes to practice, either do that or if you feel like you're already in stroke, shoot balls in rotation like nine ball. Just throw them on the table and shoot them off. Throw them on the table and shoot them off. Why are we throwing those nine ball racks on the table? You get in more practice if you only have 15 minutes racking and breaking and racking and breaking takes a lot of time. You should practice your break, but if you've got 15 or 20 minutes and you've got to wrap things up, give yourself as many actual strokes on the table as possible. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit us in the comments. Let me know what you think and have a great day. All right. You know you were, whoa. Oh, are we on the air?